How's it going, guys? Welcome to episode two of Launcherpreneurship with Brad from Your Way Lawn Care. So today we're going to dive right in and talk about what's been going on the past couple of weeks. I've been away. I've been sick. Um, the weather's been up and down, so it's been kind of crazy here in North Carolina. We've had snow. We've had super freezing temperatures. It's just it's been one of those winters where yeah, we just can't catch a break here. Very very unusual um, for us in the South. But what I want to talk to y'all about is what's been going on the past couple weeks, how things are going, how the business is being reconstructed this time, and um, what the process has been, you know, for us going doing that. But what we've been doing is we've been using a Facebook marketing strategy that I came up with myself. Um, we're actually posting into the local Facebook community pages. I know a lot of guys say, "Don't do that. You're just going to get tire kickers." But I've been doing that since I started my business, and it's very, very, very successful for me. You know, I can't say enough about doing it personally. I know some guys, you know, it just doesn't work for them, but it works great for me. So that's what I'm going with. You know, try it out. If it's not for you, you'll figure it out. If it is, great, because it's absolutely free marketing. Um, one of the biggest things you need to do if you're going to be posting these Facebook groups is actually take the time to read their rules that they have set in place. A lot of them have these rules set in place where you can only um, post certain days of the week or certain times. Um, you know, so just be really careful about posting because you really don't want to lose your ability to post in these groups as, you know, it, it's lost revenue. Um, personally, the groups here are anywhere from a couple thousand up to 50 or 60,000 people in these groups. So when we're sharing these page, um, sharing these posts from our business Facebook page, you know we're getting seven, eight, ten, twelve thousand plus views on a post. You know it's been really cold, so we're not getting a ton of traction. But we're getting our name out there. People are starting to see our name on a regular basis now. So we're going to start getting that traction and going to start seeing results from that. So what you want to do is you want to actually create some sort of um, post on your business Facebook page. If you don't have a business Facebook page, I highly encourage you to go over to Facebook and create one. Uh, it's absolutely free and it gives away for another means um, for people to find you when uh, when they're looking for your business you know people want to know where you're at they want to see you the more they see you the more secure they're gonna feel with going with your company <clears throat> so with that you want to make some sort of post on your business page make it relevant make it something interesting um, you know right now it's we we do a lot of crepe myrtle tree trimming this time of the year so I put out a post one week talking about crepe myrtle trees and how to properly trim them and actually showed some um, graphics of it uh, with the pictures in my post. And then I shared those. Um, you know, a lot of people go out here and just hack crepe myrtle trees off and that's not the proper way to do it. You actually only take a little bit off the top. You know, you don't want to, you can take some off of that main branch up top but you don't want to take a lot of that off. The biggest thing you're doing with a crepe myrtle tree is you're thinning it out. You're cutting the cross sections out of it. And a lot of people don't understand that. So if you're trimming them wrong, please figure it out, man. Don't be murdering the crepe myrtle trees. They're beautiful trees. So we had some good traction with that. We got a few quote requests. Um, we done one for mulch and pine straw that we were doing last week. Um, we put it out on Monday. No, we put it out on Sunday, and then they started calling for snow here. So we switched over to something else, started putting out snow removal posts, um, which we didn't get any traction on, surprisingly, and we had about six inches of snow here. Um, but that's the way it goes. Sometimes you're going to do good. Sometimes you're not going to do so good. So take a look at Facebook. Create your Facebook business page. Put posts on that business page. Share it into your local community groups, yard sale groups or whatever you can find locally, it's totally free. It gets your name out there. It gains visibility for your company and for your brand. The more people see you, the more likely they are to call you. So that's Entrepreneurship for this week. Hope you have a great one.